Hi guys! Well, <clears throat> it's morning. That's why my voice is like this. Let me say that again. Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today is a really sentimental day. It is one year ago since Ben proposed to me. Tomorrow is our eight year anniversary, which is also like so crazy because I honestly don't know where the time goes. Like eight years, like I actually can't believe I've known him for that long. Like it has absolutely flown by. In this vlog, you're going to be a little bit like a third wheel and I'm gonna take you along to everything that we are doing this anniversary. I was actually able to organize to go back to the winery that Ben proposed to me to last year, tonight. So we're staying at Linden Dairy Lancemore Winery in Red Hill, which I'm so excited about because I'm such a sentimental person and I love like celebrating anniversaries and things like that and doing things that are sentimental. So to go back to where Ben proposed to me a whole year later is like so special and we actually haven't been back since so I thought it'd be really nice to go and it was meant to be a surprise but because of Ben's new training schedule I wasn't sure if he still had um, tomorrow off so I actually had to spoil the surprise and tell him and ask him if we could go which was a little bit annoying because I really just wanted to um, like surprise him last night and just be like oh pack a bag like I've organized something for us um, but no I couldn't do that but he was he was surprised when I told him that I'd organized it which was good and then I booked us a really nice wine bar for dinner tonight in Sorrento which I'm really excited about and if I'm being completely honest, Ben usually organizes all the anniversary things. Like this is usually his forte, but he is spending a lot, a lot, a lot of time organizing our trip to Italy in a few weeks. So I think that our anniversary sort of slipped both of our minds. Um, but I, I love organizing things. I love organizing surprises. And yeah, that's why I organized the trip away. For the next few days. I just love all this stuff and spending quality time to me is like the most important thing. I don't know if any of you watched One Day on Netflix. It was like heart-wrenching. I I actually watched it twice because I don't know I just I wanted to <laughs> I wanted to traumatize myself but no I watched it twice and I think that I was anticipating something going bad the first time that I watched it so I kind of like tried to disconnect from the characters, but it didn't matter because I thought about the show for like over a week after I finished watching it. And I was like, you know what? I want to immerse myself in the characters. I want to watch it again. And I want to like feel like I actually want to feel this time. And all I have to say is I do not recommend, do not recommend. I watched it again the second time, except this time I was like imagining, oh, it's so horrible. Knock on wood, God forbid, I was imagining Ben and I, and it was just so fucking sad. It was just so sad. But anyway, the only reason why I brought it up is not to get sad with you guys on here. Very deep. Sorry that this intro is so deep and so emotional, but I was thinking about how, like, and there's a quote that the main character, Emma, says, um, as her, um, made of honor speech and she's like I don't know who the author is I don't remember I'm probably not gonna quote this correctly but she was talking about how if you were to strike out a specific date of your life how different the trajectory of like your life could have been if you just like struck out that one date and that's why like that for me is like that for me sums up why I'm so sentimental. I don't know if we will still celebrate this date once we're married. I think we will, whether we just mark it with like a dinner or something or like a little card, I'm not sure. So eight years ago, it was Ben's end of season like dinner gala thing. And I went with him and it was just such a nice night. Like it was the first time that I felt like in a, in a social situation with him and I was meeting people and he was introducing me as like his girl and stuff. But we were like not official, but everyone was sort of saying like we were boyfriend and girlfriend. And we had only known each other for, I think maybe six weeks at this point. So we'd only known each other for six weeks, but we were just 
like so in it, like so in it from the very beginning. And the next day we spent the day together after the awards night and we were just at my house and he literally just was sitting in my room and he's like, will you be my girlfriend? Like that's, that's how it happened. Mind you, I was 18 at the time and he was 20. So we were so little, we were so young. That's actually so mental to think about that I was 18. I'm like 26 now. I ran out of my eyebrow pencil the other day and I don't know why I went for, what color is it? I think it's like light blonde. Anyway, I don't know why I went for this shade because it is way too light. It almost like gives off like a green tinge. I don't know if you can see it in the camera, but I don't have anything else and I need to go to the shops and I don't know if I'm gonna have the time today. See, you can you can actually see it's not the right color. Oh well, it'll do. It looks a bit, oh, it looks a bit stupid, but there's nothing I can do about it. Anyway, back to what I was saying about like dates and stuff. I think it's so crazy that like our kids' birthdays and like you just don't know it yet, but like you live through that day and you go through that day and you experience that day and that date. Do you understand now why the first time I watched one day I didn't want to get connected to the characters? Because this is how my brain works. Like everything is sentimental. Now that I've watched it and I've gone through the motions, I think I think about that, that show like one a day. No, that's maybe a bit extreme. It's been a, it's been a few weeks now. Maybe like the first couple weeks, once a day. I reckon I could cry at the drop of a hat if I think about it too much. I think about like anyway. I'm not gonna spoil it for you guys. It's very sad. So just be prepared if you watch it. It's very fucking sad. Okay, that is me. That is just my little basic makeup for the day, so that I look a little bit more put together. I forgot to get a card, so I'm on my way now to pick up Ben from training. Um, one of the boys picked him up this morning so that when I pick him up from training we can go straight. But I've got to get him a card. I've got to get him a card for our anniversary. So on my way, I'm going to stop and get him a card. And I love, I love, I love love. I love love. I love celebrating love. And I love giving cards. Cards are my favorite thing in the world. Like handwritten cards, I love. I love. Like I don't care if people don't give me presents. If you give me a handwritten card with a beautiful message in there, like... I think that means more than anything. So we've been giving each other like notes and cards for the last eight years. Like just, you know, obviously more often when we were like younger and like had the time to write little notes to each other. Like obviously when we did long distance, because for those who don't know, me and Ben did long distance for about four years. Um, it's April now, this is our anniversary, this is when we became official, and he moved away in May, so that same year. So since May, the first year that we met, until th that 2016, until the end of 2019, we did long distance, like full-time long distance. The first two years was only like interstate travel, so I would go and see him every like, a couple weeks could be every two three weeks just for the weekend so it wasn't like very long then he moved to Scotland and we did a whole year of long distance from Australia to Scotland and the reason why I didn't go with him was because I was studying uni so it was actually my fourth year of uni when he first moved over and I was like this close to dropping out like I I literally said to him like I don't think I can do this I think I'm just gonna come with you anyway he's like no I'm not letting you quit your course like after you've gotten this far so I stuck it out for the last year I did my course we only saw each other I think maybe like twice three times like I, I went for like for instance my uni break um, we were together off season but like yeah, there was maybe like three months at a time that we were doing the long distance. Then we f I finally moved over at the end of 2019 once I graduated. And then we both came home in 2020 because of COVID. Um, the club let him come back to Australia and um, like it, the whole world was shut down. So we came back home. But then I reckon mid-2020, the UK got back into things and they were able to train and they were able to do all of the normal things that we couldn't do here in Australia. 
and I think that sports people were considered essential. I don't know. I don't. I don't. I don't really remember the ins and outs of it, but I do know that he um, was able to go back. Sorry, I'm just looking at my map. So I don't know where I'm going. Yeah, lucky. I'm going to be getting on the freeway. Um, what was I saying? I don't remember what I was saying. Oh yeah, so then they he was able to go back and train. So then he went back over there for like another. I don't know how many months and we did long distance again. So we only officially became a normal couple that didn't do long distance in 2021. Isn't that so crazy? 2021, so from 2016, 17, 18, 19, 20, wait, are my calculations right? 2016 we met, so long distance 2016, 2017, 2018, 2019, six months together, 2020, and then, yeah, anyway, thereabouts. I, I, I know that I've calculated four years in like total of months, four years of long distance. So there were many notes, many letters, but many like, you know, things that we like wrote and like sent each other and stuff. So notes are very sentimental to me. Cards are very sent sentimental to me. Ben's got a jazz box and I've got a Ben box and we've like literally kept everything that like we've kept we've kept everything from the years and like I thought that it, I thought I was the only one keeping it obviously like because we were doing long distance like I didn't know if he was like keeping the things that I was sending him but like after we finally moved in with each other I found his jazz box and he's like even kept the first ticket that I ever like flew long distance to see him in 2016 when he was interstate okay, so i'm on my way to go and get ben a card i'll show you what i pick um and then i'm gonna go pick him up from training all right i got ben's card i'm on a dirt track by the way so it's so bumpy they're training in a new facility now and it's um like a bit further out anyway whenever i go away i get so much anxiety that i've forgotten something i've like run through my head a million times of everything that i'm bringing like my clothes my makeup my skincare i, I know we're not going to the middle of nowhere but like i get so nervous that i'm gonna forget something i don't know if anyone else is like this but like i feel sick like i'm just convinced i've left something really important i'm literally on a dirt track guys like it's a dirt track i hope he's not gonna make me drive all the way to the winery one thing though that I hate about road trips is that I wish that I didn't get car sick because I could be so productive. Like in that hour, two hours or whatever that I'm sitting in the car, do you know how much stuff I could get done? I could get emails done, I could get social media things done, I could I could edit videos, I could do like this vlog, like I could be so productive, I could read a book, I could do whatever. But instead I get car sick and I just have to sit there and look out the window. And most of the time, even when I'm looking out the window, I still feel sick. So, wish, I wish, I wish I didn't get car sick. The news agency didn't have a lot of variety, but I thought this one was cute. It's like a lolly jar. It's a sweetheart's forever. And then, like, it moves around. Oops. And then it moves around. And these things are, like, they're all stuck together. I can't do it with, two hand, with one hand, but... They, these little things move around. It's really cute. And then I think it says... Yeah, there's these things on, on the inside of this plastic. I'm a passenger princess now. And Ben brought me some pasta. It's so nice. It's, um... What is it, babe? Uh -huh. Pea. Pea and tomato and, um... Pork. pork mince. Oh, so good. Um, and I just worked out, I did forget something. I forgot all of my jackets. I was meant to bring my trench coats, a black one and a cream one. And I fully took out my blazers. I fully took the blazers out of my suitcase and said, no, I'll bring my coats. I didn't bring my coats. All I've got is one bomber jacket. So I knew, I knew I forgot something. So we've just stopped at the petrol station and it is 3.40. I don't know if you can hear the song. It's Ed Sheeran. Wait.
Anyway, we were just saying before we got here that um, I would have already been proposed to. He, oh, this is also the proposal. This was last, this was exactly a year ago today. So he proposed me at around like a one o'clock in the afternoon. So I would have, I would have been, I have been a fiance for exactly a year now. Anyway, I think we're like 20 minutes from the winery. Um, and I'll update you guys when we get there. Okay, we're four minutes away. There's the sign, Linden Dairy. That's what it looks like. It's actually like a nice afternoon. It was raining before. Oh, there we go. Look. Oh, yeah, it's small. I remember driving down here. <laughs> I remember driving down here last year. We should actually tell them the story. Look, this is the entrance. Wait, wait, stop. I want to get out of the car. <laughs> Look at my pants. <laughs> My pants are done. Oh, nice. So nice. Wait, it's not focused. So cute. Look. What I was trying to do is tell the story about us driving down this driveway last year. And what happened was we drove in, I think we got here really late. Yeah, we did. I reckon it was like. No, like nine o'clock. Yeah, maybe. like nine o'clock. It was dark. And Ben drove down this driveway and was like, oh, I don't know where to go. Wait, stop. That looks so nice. He's like, I don't know where to go. I don't know where to park. Like, is this the right driveway? Am I going in the right area? And I'm like, I don't bloody know. Anyway, after he like proposed, he was explaining to me that it was all an act because he, stop, babe, stop, stop, stop. It was all an act because he There's had. A car behind. All right, go. I don't know if I can go past that. Oh, sorry. Sorry. <laughs> He's so upset. Um, it was all an act because he had actually been here how many times? Mm, only once. He'd already been here. Wait, I stop. And go trace. back. Like, yeah, long. Fuck, it's so bright. Hang on. Oh, yeah, no, that's the shot. So stunning. Have a look. Whoa, I love it. Um, it was all for show because he'd been here before and he was pretending to act like he'd never been here and that he'd never seen this place and like, anyway, he'd come previously to meet the manager and the photographer to like scout like the venue and like see where he was going to propose to me. Um, and I remember you were like, you were here, remember? And you're like, oh, I don't know which driveway to go down, this one or this one. Anyway, I'll show you guys the property. Look how nice it is. It's so gorgeous. And it's such a nice afternoon. So right there, guys, can you see those trees? That's where it's um, been proposed. There's my phone. Yeah, look. In between those trees there. We'll go for a walk after we yeah. check in. All right, we're about to go check in. Look, don't laugh at me. I prefer my makeup in a container than a makeup bag because it's easier to find what I'm looking for. <laughs> this is the spot, guys. Imagine the photos of this chat. Look, guys. This was a year ago right there, this little spot. I know, why wasn't the weather like this last year? And then that's where um, the restaurant is, where you have breakfast and dinner. And then this is the hotel.
So this is the room. We just got in here. <laughs> he said he didn't want to be in the video. This is the bathroom. So cute. I remember last year I tried to take content in here. Um, do you remember when I came in last year? What do you mean? When I walked in, you were like, the lady was doing the massage like this. Yeah. Um, I'll tell them the story. So then this is the bedroom. Cute little fireplace. And they gave us a nice bottle of rosé and a little note. It says, Dear Jasmine and Ben, welcome back and happy anniversary. We hope you have a lovely stay. So then look at the view. Order a coffee in the morning or something and just sit out here and have a look out so what I was saying was um, I was saying is last year we went to the Peninsula Hot Springs um, and Ben booked in massage for us and <laughs> it was one of the shittest massages I've ever had like and he agreed he said it was one of the worst massages he's, he's ever had as well lie. He couldn't relax because obviously he um, had been messaging like the photographer and the people here and whatever to organize a proposal. Anyway, when we'd come back here and we'd showered and started getting ready for what I thought was lunch, which was actually just for him to get me dressed to do the proposal, um, I was in the bathroom like, oh, the lady did the massage so shit. She was doing this like really weird like motion like here in my hip. And I'm like, come here, let me show you. And like, he just walks away. Like, I'm like, I'm like, come here <laughs> and let me show you. And he walks away and I'm like, what a weirdo. Like, I'm literally talking to him. There's no one else in the room. There's nothing. He wasn't on his phone. He wasn't distracted. He, like, just walked away from me. And he told, told me later that it's because he had the ring in his pocket. And he's like, I was so scared that you were going to touch the ring and feel the ring in the pocket. Which is probably true. Like, I probably would have felt it if I, would like, pressed into his, like, hip or his bum or something. But, yeah, that was funny. I'm just going to give you guys a bit of a tour of the place. Um, so right here on this little chair here, we took photos after Ben proposed. And then we also got some photos here. Look how beautiful this garden is. These were, I think the photos here were my favorite. Do you remember? Is that your background on your phone? I think it is. Yeah. Yeah. This is the background on Ben's phone. He took them over here. It's so just nice. such a beautiful property. Like if there's ever a weekend that you guys want to go away, like highly recommend. So what happened that day was, yeah, like I mentioned, we went to Peninsula Hot Springs and then Ben's like, get ready for lunch. And it starts pouring rain and he starts freaking out because he's like, it's raining, it's raining, it's raining. I'm like, I don't really care that it's raining. Like we're going inside, we're going to have lunch. And he's like, no, didn't you say you wanted to get some content? Oh my God, it's so bright right now. He's like, didn't you say you wanted to get some content? And I was like, yeah, but it's fine. We can do it like in between courses during the lunch. Anyway. He's insistent that we come and take some photos here, which we end up doing, like in between bursts of rain, and then that's when he proposed. What side do you want to stand on? Um, what side was I on? I was on that side. So this is the outfit. The jeans are a brand. Belt is, I think, Naked Vice. Ankle boots are Naked Vice. Jumper is Uniqlo. And yeah, I was meant to have like my Henny trench coat, but I forgot it, which is so annoying. So I have to wear the leather bummer again. So I'm like literally all black. It's not giving sexy date night. It's just giving, I don't know, soccer mum. We're in the car. 
and we forgot to um we forgot to video in the car we've just gone to the restaurant so we're just parking it's called bistro elba so we'll take you in there <laughs> this is the restaurant bistro elba in sorrento it's quite dark in here guys but we got a wine i always go for like a pinot grige and you get a pinot noir we've got some oysters and this is the place, it just looks so nice. We got beef tartar, tartar, I don't know how to say it, beef tartar, beef tartare, I think it's tartare. Anyway, I know it looks like dog food, but you just do this and then you put it on the chips. I feel like this is going to gross some people out, but trust me, it tastes so good. They talk us with the food. Huh? Yeah. Enjoy, guys. Thank, Thank you. you. Roast potatoes. I don't know what the fuck that is. <laughs> I think it's like the butter. Yeah. And then what is chicken that? and tarragon. Yeah, chicken and tarragon pie. What's tarragon? And it's got like mustard like and stuff in it. Like a herb. Yum. All right, are you going to do the honours? I want to hear it. <laughs> so good. What is it? Vanilla? Vanilla creme brulee with almond rochers. Oh my god. That's the almond rochers. So good. Oh, yeah. Good morning. The next morning after dinner we just head back to the room and now we are at breakfast um this area here is so 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 funny to us because when Ben proposed i'll tell you another story time when he was proposing to me he told me that we were meant to have lunch here like at this restaurant and um so you know how i said that we got dressed up last year and then we went and took photos he told me that we had lunch here at this restaurant. So once we've come down from the room, I've come to this restaurant with Ben and he had to like play it off <laughs> and pretend that there was actually a lunch when there wasn't. I didn't know this obviously. So I'm like speaking to the person at the front desk going like, oh, like we've got a booking for two under Ben. And the guy's like, no, there's no booking. Like, there's no booking for Ben. There's no booking for Jasmine. We're not even open for lunch. And I'm like looking at Ben and like Ben's getting like really, really like <laughs> I'm fucking sweating. Ben's getting really, really nervous. And I didn't like realize, but I'm like stood here speaking to the guy at the reception. I'm like here and I'm like asking questions. I'm like, blah, 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 blah. and Ben's in the back going like this. No, because the guy said, the guy said, no, I've got you down for only like a dinner reservation for you guys, like a very special occasion. <laughs> and it was our anniversary, so she didn't think twice. No. But I was like, like when he started saying that, I just took a step back and I was like. <laughs> <laughs> and then the guy went like red and he was like, um, let me just go and have a look for you guys and just walked off. And then I was like, he goes, all right, come on, let's go inside. And when we had dinner that night, we actually sat here at this table, so I think we'll take this table here this morning. Look how nice it looks, it's so cozy. And then in the morning we actually sat here and had breakfast. So we had breakfast here the morning after, but we had dinner there the night of. How nice is the view? 
this beautiful arch window. Alright, I'm gonna put my stuff down and we can go get some. Is it buffet? Smashed Avo, muesli yogurt. Ooh, what have we got? Bacon, sausage, mushroom, tomato, poached eggs. It is buffet. Oh, it wasn't last time. What's in there? Oh, they're this. mine. Which eggs? It's like a bread station. And then juices. Alright, so this is what mm -hmm. I've gone for. I've got multi grain toast with cheese, butter, omelette, bacon, mushies and tomato. I love a buffet breakfast. I eat like so much more at a buffet breakfast than I do at home. What'd you get? You got like the same, except you got poached eggs. I fucking hate mushrooms. <laughs> We've got some berries and we're gonna share a croissant. And well, bacon is good for me. <laughs> I like, I always, when I come to buffets, I go for like the streaky bacon, the one that's like got a bit more fat. But at home, we don't have this bacon. Actually, to be fair, we never have bacon at home. No. We just got the coffees. And now, I'll get a headache if I don't have a coffee in the morning. But I'm also so lucky because I feel so many people in the back. But I'm so lucky because Ben's actually a barista. So, mm. We've got a really good machine at home and it makes me the best coffee is it now. When I go out, I didn't even try and buy coffee sometimes because I know it's going to taste like shit. I just think it's so funny that a year ago this was the weather that we were dealing with. Like it's raining, it's grey, it's horrible and you saw, you guys saw how nice the weather was yesterday. It was blue skies, like sunny as... And this is exactly what happened when we came here last year. The day before when we arrived, it was like sunny, it was nice, like it was, you know, perfect to go out there and take photos. And then the morning that we woke up on our anniversary, it was like this. It was like raining and drizzling and grey and sloshy. And like I was in a dress and Ben was in like, you know, nice clothes and <laughs> he was just so stressed because look at it. This isn't like nice. It's not what you expect, it's not what you plan for. All right, we're just getting, we're just getting to the Peninsula Hot Springs and we're gonna do some bathing and then have some coffee and lunch. <laughs> Say it again. Go, go, pose like him. <laughs> There's people coming. <laughs> You're so embarrassed. <laughs> oh my God. So we've got our robes on. We actually look really cute. We've got our robes on and we're going to go and find um, some really warm spots. To be fair, it doesn't actually feel that cold. No, Should we use the sauna later? Okay. We're going to go and try and look for another spa. We were just in this one here and it was I think 40 to 42 degrees. What's that one? Yeah, let's go down there. It's so nice guys. And like, even though it's a little bit like cooler, like as in weather outside, oh, this is so relaxing. Like I wish we, we organized earlier some massages. That would have been really nice. But um, like this is so nice just to like go in the spas. So we're gonna go and try this one here. And here is 38 to 40 degrees and it's got like a little like shower. What do you do? Are you sitting up? If I go down, I can like it's gonna be sit down. You can go on the bed. Oh, is that what it's called? Yeah, but it's not really good. Have you seen Madagascar? Yeah, obviously. Like the, what, the second one? 
it's like multiple and multiple like right? yeah. I know. I was just saying a bit that this is like you know in Madagascar when it's like um Gloria and she's like multiple multiple likes here and they get out of the spot. We have just finished in the what would you call them? Mineral hot springs. And we've showered, we've put another comfy robe on and we've come to the restaurant. We're gonna have some lunch and a coffee and then we're gonna get on the road. But it's been such a nice day. It's been so relaxing. I like highly recommend if you wanna like get away. It's kind of hard to get in on a weekend. If you wanna try and get away on a weekday, definitely try and come here, guys. I haven't had coconut water in so long and I'm so like dehydrated from the baths and got a smoothie <laughs> this is going to be so nice so good that is Mm. Why don't we make it with coconut water at home? Yum. So I ordered, we both ordered actually, a nourish bowl. It's got chicken, kale, potatoes, just veggies, and I'm starving, so it's gonna go, go down so well. All right, guys, we're back in the car. We just finished lunch at Peninsula Hot Springs, and we've had a beautiful couple, no, we've had a beautiful, 24 hours away to celebrate our anniversary we're heading back home now thank you for watching thank you for third wheeling us on our anniversary only a couple more weeks until we are off to italy so i will see you all then